running over opponents. Drawn vehicles with war-trained gray creatures can attempt to run over foes. Treat such attacks as overrun attempts. See Chapter 8 of the Player's Handbook. Accordingly, the defender chooses to either avoid or block the dray creature. If the defender chooses to avoid them or is tripped by them during the blocking attempt, the vehicle deals the in indicated ram damage as it drives over the defender. And the defender is prone after the ram if she wasn't before If the defender chooses to block and succeeds. The vehicle comes to a halt with the drag creatures adjacent to the defender. Just as in a normal over overrun, just as in a normal overrun, depending on the results of the trip attempt. The drag creature may or may not be prone themselves. If two or more gray creatures are harnessed abreast of each other, abreast of each other, each creature making the overrun attempt gains a plus two circumstance bonus on trip attempts for each other creature harnessed in the line because the harness gives the gray creature more stability. For example, if Turdek tries to run over an orc with a double chariot drawn by two heavy war horses. Only one of the war horses makes an overrun attempt because only that one will actually run over the orc. But if the orc chooses to block, the heavy war horse receives a total bonus of the trick attempt of plus. 14 plus 4 for being large plus 4 for 18 strength 18 strength plus 4 for being a quadruped and plus 2 for the other horse. Note that just as with a normal overrun attempt, gray creatures can only run over opponents who are one size larger the same size or smaller. Trampling Dray Creatures If your creature's Dray creature have the Trample special ability, they make trample attacks rather than overrun attempts. Attacking Vehicle Just as a single catapult shot or disintegrate spell won't destroy an entire castle, so too will a weapon uh, or spell damage only part of a big vehicle, like a ship. A huge or larger vehicle is usually divided up 10 foot by 10 foot sections and attacks, whether from weapons or spells, target the sections, not the vehicle as a whole. An attacker can target any visible section and smart foes concentrate their fire on specific parts of the vehicle to disable it as quickly as possible. Smaller vehicles such as a cart or chariot, chariot simply have an armor class and hit points. Essentially, there are vehicles with a single section. In other respects, they follow all the rules below. Because they're inanimate objects, vehicles generally have very low armor classes. They're protected by their hardness and the fact that objects are harder to damage in creatures. Like all inanimate objects, vehicles are immune to critical hits, subdual damage, and sneak attacks. They take half damage for all range weapons smaller than siege engines as well as from acid. Fine and fire and light cold attacks deal one quarter damage. Divide the damage by two or four before subtracting the object's hardness. Sonic attacks deal full damage. 
even if their occupied vehicles count as un unattended objects, so they never make saving throws. Magical augmentations of a vehicle, see below, can make saving throws. However, their fortitude, reflex, and rarely used will say will save bonuses are equal to two plus half their caster level. Targeting a victor a vehicle section. The statistics the statistics block for each multiple section vehicle gives the armor class hit points and hardness, if any, per section. For sailing ships, the sails and rigging are counted for as a separate section with its own armor class and hit points. This section is otherwise just like any other vehicle section, except it that it handles damage somewhat different. See below. Effects of damage. Once a vehicle section has taken 10% of, it, of its hit points in damage, the scars and gouges are noticeable. When the section has lost 50% of its hit points, cracks appear. After losing 75% of its hit points, Hit points. The section has holes and cracks large enough that those inside and outside the vehicle can attack one another directly through the section. Still provide though the section still provides nine tenths cover. The section collapses when it hits points when it when its hit points are exhausted. If a vehicle section has taken 50% of its hit points in damage, the vehicle's speed is reduced by 5 feet until the damage is repaired. The reduction doesn't stack, so, simple, so, multi, so multiple damage sections still make the vehicle only 5 feet slower. If a section is destroyed, the vehicle's speed is cut in half. If a section is destroyed, the vehicle's speed is cut in half. If a second section is destroyed, the vehicle can't move. If you're attacking a multi-layered section, such as one with armor plating, see vehicle augmentations below. You must overcome each layer in a turn. Damage left over from a single attack that destroyed the previous layer must overcome the hardness of the new layer if it is a different material before damaging it. Collateral damage. If, if you destroy a section, you weaken the sections adjacent to it. Any section adjacent to a section that is destroyed automatically takes damage equal to 50% of its full normal hit points. After accounting account for hardness as usual. In the following round, <coughs> collateral damage can spread across the vehicle from round to round and section to section, destroying sections in succession if each was already sufficiently damaged. Damage to a wind power powered ship r ship's rigging doesn't weaken anything else aboard the vehicle. Sinking ships. Water vehicles that take damage risk a one-way trip to the ocean floor. If a ship has a section of hull destroyed, it starts to take on water unless the ship can be repaired. Probably magically, it will sink in a manner of minutes, or matter of minutes. A ship sinks in a number of minutes equal to 30 divided by the number of destroyed 10 foot sections, not including rigging. Ships in inclement weather, as defined in Table 319, random weather in the dungeons master's guide sink twice as fast in the ships in the storms sink four times as fast 
Any ship unfortunate to have a section destroyed during a powerful storm sinks in one minute. Sections that are merely damaged let some water in, but not enough to put the ship in immediate damage or danger. Ship officers typically assign some crew members to bail the water out until carpenters can plug the leaks. Damaged riggings. If the rigging on a wind-powered ship takes 50% of its full normal hit points in damage, treat the wind as one category lighter because the remaining cells aren't able to capture it as effectively. Thus, ships with damaged rigging move twice their speed in heavy winds. Move their speed in moderate winds and are unable to move in light winds. If a ship's rigging is destroyed, it can't move at all under wind power. Repairing and building a vehicle. Sometimes fixing a vehicle is a, as, is a simple matter of carpentry, but if the damage is severe and the situation is dire, only magic can rebuild a vehicle faster. Likewise, building a vehicle can be a task hired out to a Wainwright or shipyard for a project for a powerful spellcaster. Vehicle repair repairs. If a vehicle <clears throat> has taken damage, a group of carpenters, carpenters, engineers, or other crew members can repair it without the use of magic. The number of members in the repair crew must equal the hardness of the material being fixed. For example, repairing damage to a 10 foot vehicle section made of wood requires a 5 person repair crew because wood has a hardness of 5. Only one member of the repair crew need have the relevant craft skill, carpentry or wood, armor smithing for metal, or cell making or rigging. The others can be unskilled depending on the situation, tools or raw material may be necessary. If the skilled member of the repair crew succeeds in a craft check DC-10 at the end of one minute in uninterrupted work, repairs were successful, at least to a degree. For every point by which the craft check result exceeds 9, one hit point is restored to the damaged section. Once a vehicle section is destroyed, it takes days to fix without the aid of magic, and most magic is only tempor a temporary solution. See Magical Repair Techniques below. If a vehicle with destroyed sections can be transported to a dock or other repair facility, determine the extent of the vehicle's damage as a value in gold pieces. Number of destroyed sections divided by vehicle's total number of sections times half vehicle's cost. This number represents the cost of raw materials needed to rebuild the destroyed sections and dictates how long the repair will take. The repair crew, as defined above, can repair 125 gold pieces worth of damage per day given proper tools and raw materials. A typical dock wheelwright's ship, shop, or other well with facility can generally repair 250 gold pieces worth of damage per day. A dry dock where a waterborne vehicle is hoisted out of the water for a particularly large vehicle repair facility can repair 500 gold pieces worth of damage per day. Example, the hull of a long ship 70 feet by 20 feet has 14 sections. Three of the sections were destroyed in a sea battle, but the wizards aboard kept the ship afloat with magic until it could reach port. 
just cost of the A long ship is 10,000 gold pieces. The repairs will cost a number of gold pieces equals to equal to 3 that dash 14 times 5,000 or about 1,070 gold pieces. A repair crew with proper tools and raw material can fix the destroyed sections in nine days. At a dry dock facility, the work could be done in a little more than two days. Repairing rigging. Damaging, damaged rigging can, re, can be repaired as described above. Destroyed rigging must be, re, be purchased at a cost of 20 gold pieces per hit point on the undamaged rigging. Medical repair techniques. A number of spells can speed the repair process or provide makeshift battle repairs. Mending instantly repairs 1 die 8 points of damage and make whole completely repairs a single 10 foot section as long as the damage was not the result of warping, burning, or disintegration. If a section has been destroyed, it requires minor creation and an appropriate craft check DC 25 to fix the gap in the vehicle's structure. The material to fill a 10 foot square section to a thickness of 1 inch is roughly 8 cubic feet in volume. So a single spellcaster of 8th level or higher can fix one section. Multiply applications may be necessary for sturdy repairs. Major creation can repair iron vehicles for a number of hours and even more exotic material for a few minutes or rounds because neither minor creation nor major creation is permanent. Such repairs are only stopgap measure are only a stopgap measure. Measure. Building vehicles. Building a new vehicle or adding augmentations to an existing vehicle follows the same rules as repairing a vehicle. A work crew can build 125 gold pieces worth per day. A dock or shop can build 250 gold pieces per day. In a major facility can build 500 gold pieces per day. Master work vehicles. High quality vehicles are rare, but craft workers are a devoted lot. Several must work together to build larger vehicles, giving the master builder assistance and other benefits. A master work vehicle travels faster and is sturdier than its normal counterparts. Its speed is 5 feet faster than that of a normal vehicle, and it has 5 more hit points per inch of thickness. The cost in DC to create a master work vehicle depends on its size as shown in Table 3-7, Masterwork Vehicle Creation Cost. Table 3-7, Masterwork Vehicle Creation Cost. Crew and Passengers, 1 through 6, cost 5,000 gold pieces, DC 20. Crew and Passengers, 7 through 20, cost 10,000 gold pieces, DC 23. Crew and passengers, 21 through 80, cost 20,000 gold pieces, DC 25. Crew and passengers, 81 to 150, cost 3 or 30,000 gold pieces, DC 28. Crew and passengers, 150 plus, cost 50,000 gold pieces. DC 30. Vehicle Augmentations. Characters tend to tinker with and customize their vehicles. Here are some mundane and magical options for characters who want to give 
their vehicle a little something extra. Mundane aug augmentations. Th these improvements on basic vehicle design requires no magic, just the relevant craft skill and appropriate raw materials or enough cash. Armor plating. You can increase the hit points and hardness of any vehicle by adding armor to any 10 foot section other than rigging. All statistics below are per inch of thickness. You can layer the same material to get thicker armor or combine different material as you like. Each layer takes damage separately. Damage left over after the outer layer is destroyed is dealt to the next layer inward. Hardness is applied a second time if the new layer is a different material. Table 3A Armor Materials Material Adamantine Hit Points 40 Hardness 20 Cost per section 5,000 gold pieces Weight per section 5,000 pounds Material Dark Wood Hit Points 10 Hardness 5 Cost per section 3,000 gold pieces Weight per section 500 pounds Material Iron Hit points 30, hardness 10, cost per section 1,000 gold pieces, weight per section 5,000 pounds. Material, mithril, hit points 30, hardness 15, cost per section 3,500 gold pieces, weight per section 3,000 pounds. Material, wood, hit points 10, hardness 5, cost per section 200 gold pieces, weight per section 1,000 pounds. Ballista, any vehicle with a 5 foot by 10 foot section of flat deck or roof can have a ballista mounted on it. Ballistas function as described under Siege Engines in Chapter 5 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. Choose a direction for the ballista when you mount it on your vehicle. It can fire at any target in a, in a 180 degree arc centered on the mounted weapon. Weight 1500 pounds, cost 500 gold pieces. Catapult. Heavy. You can add a heavy catapult to any vehicle with at least a 10 foot by 10 foot section of flat deck or roof. It functions as described under Siege Engines in Chapter 5 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. It can launch ammunition at any target in a 90 degree no, in a 90 degree arc centered on the mounted weapon. Weight 4,000 pounds, cost 800 gold pieces. Catapult Light. The light catapult occupies a 5 foot by 10 foot section of deck. It otherwise follows the rules of a heavy catapult. See above. Weight 2,000 pounds, cost 550 gold pieces. Firing Castle. A bunker attacked, uh, a bunker attached to the deck of a vehicle. The Firing Castle provides protection for defenders and serves as a platform for siege engines. Four medium sized defenders benefit from nine tenths cover arrow slits in the firing castle itself which is 10 feet by 10 feet and another four get one half cover behind the crenellations of its roof the firing castle's walls are one foot thick masonry hit points 90 hardness 8 a firing castle can be installed anywhere a heavy catapult would fit in a heavy catapult or two light catapults or ballistas can subsequently be mounted atop it. Weight 
four times, cost 1,000 gold pieces. Masterwork controls. Whether it's a finely tuned wheel that allows delicate adjustments to the rudder, or a complex harness system that directs the drag creatures with just a flick of the wrist, it's possible to get more performance out of the vehicle by improving its control system. Master work controls provide a plus two circumstance bonus on handle animal or profession profession checks made by the driver. The cost depends on the vehicle's size. Its weight does not change. Cost 300 gold pieces. Medium size, 600 gold pieces large, 1200 gold pieces huge, 2400 gold pieces gargantuan, 4800 gold pieces colossal. Passenger spaces. Available cargo space can be covered for passengers for passenger use. One ton, 2,000 pounds of cargo space can accommodate two medium-sized or smaller passengers comfortably. Twice as many can squeeze into passenger space for short periods of time. They are too cramped to bite effectively and are considered fatigued after an hour's travel. Cost 200 gold pieces per ton. Passenger spaces. Fancy. As above, but the passenger quarters are cushioned and decorated. Each ton of cargo space can accommodate one passenger at this level of comfort. Cost 600 gold pieces per ton. Passenger space. Spaces. Luxury. As above, but the passengers. The passenger quarters are the very definition of affluence. Each luxury passenger space takes up two tons of cargo space. Cost 1,500 gold pieces per ton. Ramming prow plate. Vehicles equipped with a ramming prow take half damage from ramming attacks they initiate. Normally, rams deal equal damage to both the target and the ramming vehicle. The warship comes with this augmentation for free. The weight and cost depend on the vehicle's size. Weight 500 pounds, large, 10 or 1,000 pounds, huge, 2,000 pounds, gargantuan, 4,000 pounds, colossal, cost 500 gold pieces large, 500 gold pieces large, 1,000 gold pieces huge, 3,000 gold pieces gargantuan, 5,000 gold pieces colossal, rotating platform, this low platform mounted on rollers doubles the fire arc of a siege engine, so catapults have 180 degrees fire arcs and ballistas can fire in any direction. The rotating platform doubles the crew requirement to operate the siege engine. Weight 1,000 pounds, cost 500 gold pieces. Magical augmentations. These additions Two vehicles are constructed like any other magic item, employing the craft wondrous item feet. Bridle of burden bearing. This bit and bridle set increases the strength score of the harness dray creature, enabling it to pull heavier loads. Caster level 8. Prerequisites. Craft Wondrous item, bull's strength, market price, 4,000 gold pieces, plus 2, 6,000 gold pieces, plus 4, 36,000 gold pieces, plus 6, weight, slash, captain's table. This broad wooden table usually kept in the officer's mess 
duplicate duplicates the effects of Hero's Feast for up to 12 crew members. Those who spend an hour partaking in the magical fare created by the captain's table are cured of diseases, become immune to poison and magical fear and hopelessness. Deal one, one die four plus four points of damage and receive the benefits of a blessed spell. The effects last for 12 hours. The captain's table serves one such meal a day. Caster level 12. Prerequisites. Craft wondrous items. Heroes. Feast. Market price 72,000 gold pieces. Weight. 16 pounds. Catapult Stone of Becoming. This catapult stone eliminates even the trace of a breeze within a 400 feet radius of whatever it strikes. Prevailing winds don't return for 10 minutes. Caster Level 11th. Prerequisites Craft Magic Arms and Armor. Control Winds. Market price, 2,500 gold pieces, weight, 16 pounds. Charts of certainty. This blank sheet of parchment is every captain's boon. If unrolled and directly exposed, exposed to the sun while abroad a vehicle, while aboard a vehicle, it instantly displays a map as detected or as detailed as a commercial available one of everything within 24 hours travel at the vehicle's current maximum speed if the bearer then specifies a destination it draws the most direct physical route to that destination like the find the path spell the charts of certainty work only with respect to locales, not objects or creatures. If the parchment is rolled up, the map, the map it was displaying disappears. Caster level 11. Prerequisites. Craft wondrous item. Find the path. Market price 47,520 gold pieces. Weight one pound. Cloud King, an invention of the gin on the elemental plane of air. The Cloud Kill gives its vessel and no, its vessel the ability to fly at a speed of 40 feet. Clumsy. If the vehicle is wind powered, it can still use its cells if they provide faster movement than the kill itself. Faster level, 17th. Prerequisites, craft wondrous item, fly, wish, market price, 200,000 gold pieces, weight, 1,000 pounds. Earth kill, this item often forged on the elemental plane of Earth enables the water vehicle to move across land as if it were on water. The vessel's speed is unaffected, but rough terrain slows the vehicle just as it would a land vehicle. Caster level, 17th. Prerequisites, craft wondrous item, transmute rock to mud, fish, Market price, 150,000 gold pieces, weight 1,000 pounds. Eldritch Exhaust. Once per day, at the command of the driver, a vehicle equipped with this device expels a billowing mass of vapor from its rear. Three types of vapor available are a fog that obscures the vehicle from pursuers as the fog cloud spell a cloud of acid as a 
acid for, for fog spell for deadly poison as the cloud kill spell. The 20 foot high cloud has a 30 foot radius. Caster level, third, fog cloud, ninth, cloud kill, eleventh, acid fog. Prerequisites, craft wondrous item, relevant spell, market price, 2,160 gold pieces, fog cloud, 6,200 gold pieces, cloud kill, 23,760 gold pieces, acid fog, weight, 10 pounds. Farlong's lines. These bow lines and other ropes are magically animated to make sailing a ship easier. The rope snakes, the ropes snake forward of their own volition and pull and release by voice command, enabling sails to be set and changed without breaking the backs of the crew. Each set of far lang 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 far lines lines aboard a wind powered ship reduces the required crew by five to a minimum of two for Colossus wind powered ships and one for gargantuan or smaller ships. Far langans Lines respond only to nautical commands, so they can't be used to entangle foes or tie up captives. Caster level, ninth prerequisites, craft wondrous items, anti-mate, rope, telekinesis, market price, 8,100 gold pieces, weight, Five pounds. Lightning turbine. Often used in conjunction with magic and control controls weather. No, often used in conjunction with magic that controls weather. The lightning turbine is a series of antenna antenna connected to a clockwork gearbox that gives the vehicle greater speed during a storm. Lightning strikes the antenna providing power to double the vehicle's speed or give it a speed of 90 feet, whichever is greater. The vehicle ignores any weather-related penalties to speed. Caster level 9. Prerequisites. Craft wondrous item. Call lightning expeditious retreat market price ninety thousand gold pieces weight three hundred pounds non dimensional trunk much like a bag of holding a non dimensional trunk is a cargo box that holds more than it looks capable of. Anything with dimensions of less than 10 feet in all directions will fit inside. Up to 2 tons of cargo can fit in the non-dimensional trunk, which weighs no more than 200 pounds, even if the weight of its contents is much heavier than that. Caster Level 9 Prerequisites Craft Wondrous Items for craft wandrous item. Leomund, Leomund's secret chest, Leomund's secret chest, market price 30,000 gold pieces, weight 200 pounds, maximum. Why not planar cells? These rainbow hued cells enable a vehicle to sell to places beyond the material plane. It takes five minutes and a successful mileage. The planes check DC 20 to set the cells for a particular plane. All the planar cells provide a means to reach worlds beyond. They don't grant the ability to move or survive on the destination plane. Caster level 9th prerequisites craft wondrous item plane shift 
Market price, 72,000 gold pieces. Weight, 600 pounds. Self-propelled self vehicle. By the animating, by animating the wheels, steering mechanism, and other moving parts on a vehicle, it's possible to build a vehicle that doesn't require gray creatures. Any land vehicle of large size or smaller can become self-propelled, gaining a speed of 60 feet. It still moves under the direction of the driver and retains its usual maneuverability. Unlike with a normal casting of the animate object spell, the vehicle does not become a construct and does not gain the ability to fight on its own. Caster level 11th prerequisites craft wondrous item, animate objects. Market price, 132,000 gold pieces. Weight, slash. Skyrider's platform. This base plate for a single or double chariot enables it to be pulled by flying creatures just as if it were on the ground being pulled by horses. The chariot ascends or descends according to the drake creature's maneuverability, but turns according to the chariot's maneuverability. Note that the drake creatures cannot fly if they're burdened with more than a light load, so chariots equipped with this feature sometimes require more drake creatures than their Landbound counterparts. Caster level 11. Prerequisites. Craft wondrous item. Air walk. Market price 56,000 gold pieces. Weight 20 pounds. Smuggler's hold. As the non dimensional trunk above, but the, the lid and latch of the trunk are magically hidden until a command word reveals them for one round. Spellcasters try to find the smuggler's hold with divination magic must succeed on a caster level check against DC 20. Caster level 9 prerequisites craft wondrous item lemons secret chest Major image, non detection, market price 90,000 gold pieces, weight 200 pounds, speedy wheels. This pair of wooden wheels fits most wheeled vehicles, increasing the speed of one so equipped by 10 feet. The wheels must be placed on the same axle to be affected. Regardless of how many regardless of how many steady wheels a vehicle bears, its speed increases by only 10 feet. Faster level third prerequisites craft wondrous item expeditious retreat. Market price, 100 gold pieces, weight 20 pounds each. 